Hi everybody, just a quick video today to look at a tool that will help us uh, control our access to our files throughout the life of a project such that folks are always working with the most current version of the file. That tool is setting a file expiration and let me show you how it works. I'm currently in Navisworks and I've got a master model that's been prepared, an aggregated model of data for my infrastructure project that brings together maybe civil 3D data, Revit data, maybe some information from Inventor and other sources as well. This information comes to me in my project uh, so that roughly I aggregate or create through a BIM coordination meeting maybe once a week or every couple of weeks updated information about this design. So hence, if I were to send this information off to somebody, I would want to make sure that they have the most recent version or the latest update of the design files that make up the aggregated model. So how can I do this? Well, I've got my model prepared already with all of the data. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to Navisworks and I'm going to publish this to an NWD file. And you'll notice when I go through the publish process, it's going to go through and it's going to give me some different things that I can fill out to uh, record some properties about the file itself. I could even set a password if, on it if I want. But the one that I'm most interested in today is setting an expiration date. And with that expiration date, once again, if I'm going to be getting updated information every couple of weeks, what I can do is I can set the date that this file will expire, such that in the 17th of September, if somebody attempts to access this file, it'll say that it's expired and uh, they would have to seek uh, a new file from uh, me or somebody else working on the project to be able to, uh, to leverage the data. All right, fantastic tool, once again, so that somebody doesn't get an old file and continue to use it forever. So what we're going to do to finish the process here, we're going to go ahead and publish this. We'll say OK. It's going to publish it to an NWD file, which is a, a self-contained file within Navisworks. So we'll publish this. We'll call this uh, current status. You know, maybe I would save it by date. You know, any number of uh, things that we, uh, you know, different uh, uh, formats or standardization we could use in the file names to do that. But it's been saved off. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to just start a new model here to uh, clear that off. So now we're at, at Untitled. And let's go ahead, if I was to have sent that to somebody, let's go ahead and open that and see what their view would look like. We'll hop up a folder. We'll go to NWD Files, or my self-contained model. And we see our one here that we would send them called Current Status. And when they open that up, they automatically get the published dialog complete with any values that I've filled out. Filled out. If I had a, a password assigned, they would be required to put that in. As well as they see that there's an expiration date that on 917, this file would cease to open and they would have to seek a new one, uh, assuming they would you know, contain uh, updated model information. So let's uh, click OK. It gives us access to the model. We can come in and, and pan and zoom and view and do whatever we need to do on the Navisworks side. All right, let's uh, take a look at an example of what they'd see if it was expired. We'll go ahead and open. I will grab the uh, an old model here. This one expired uh, the other day. If we attempt to uh, open that one, it comes up and it tells us that, uh, sorry, the file has expired and you're no longer able to, uh, to work in that. Okay, so once again, one more tool from a Navisworks perspective that we can assign to files, file expiration. And using that tool, we can take and help control uh, the life expectancy of that file. Or in other words, if we're going to have data that's going to be updating on a regular basis, we want to make sure that when we send out an aggregated model to somebody, they don't just use that model from here on out, that uh, after a certain amount of time, that model will cease to function, and they will have to make sure and get an updated one from there. All right, so hope uh, this information is helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again real soon. See ya.